Hey guys, Eric Xander here. I know it's been a while since I made a video, but I discovered something really cool that I absolutely had to share with you. Basically, I did a little research and figured out a method to play PS4 games using your computer keyboard without the need of a controller. That's right, no controller is necessary even to set this up. Basically, today I'll show you a method created by a GitHub user Camify, I believe that's how you pronounce it, that'll show you how to remote play from your PS4 to your PC, make your PlayStation think that a controller is plugged in, even though it's not, and then use your keyboard to control your PS4. In fact, you could take it a step further and attach a third-party controller to your PC and play your PS4 games that way, but I'll explain that in the sequel to this video. Uh, also, don't worry, like all of my videos, this one is meant to be understood by anybody, so I'm not going to get all technical, uh, technical with you guys, and I'll show you exactly what to do. So let's get started. So first, make sure that you have a, a PS4 Remote Play downloaded on either your PC or Mac. Uh, and uh, that's just officially from the PlayStation Store, but I'll give you this link in the description. So once you download the latest version of that, go to uh, this page, and I'll also give you this, uh, this link in the description. This is the PS4 Macro that was made by Comify. So you're going to scroll down to where it's, there's this bell, and it says Download Here. So you'll download the latest version by clicking that, and then clicking right here on the zip file. And it should go there, and boom. Uh, so what you're going to want to do is right click this and you're going to want to extract all. I extract it where, you know, wherever you want it to extract to. I just have it go right here. So now I extracted this folder right here. If you, if you don't know how to uh, extract fi uh, files, I mean, I do have a video that will show you how to do that. And I, I could put that in the description as well. But anyway, uh, open this up, the unzip one. And you're going to want to um, open up, uh, well, you're going to want to make a new, uh, let's see, text document. Um, just name it settings, okay, and open it up, and you're just going to paste this code, and uh, you don't have to write this right now, I have this code, I will put it in the description, you'll just copy that from the description, paste it right into this thing that says settings.txt, and save it. Then what you're going to want to do is right click settings.txt, rename it, and change the text to XML, oh, yes. Okay, so that's uh, that's basically all you have to do for the setup. Now what you're gonna wanna do is go to PS4 Remote Play, open it up. It'll check for an update. Okay, and then we'll have this right here. Don't press start yet. What you're gonna wanna do is go over here, go to ps4macro.exe, right click it, press run as administrator. Yes. run all right and then this will show up and then once that shows up this should change where it should say press the options button on controller to start that's because it thinks that you already have a controller plugged in so that's pretty cool so press start oops okay and my playstation 4 just turned on i don't know if you heard it but it did um so while it's doing that go into tools Press Remapper. All right, now the uh, it, the emulation's all set up. So uh, you can see that these keys are mapped to these buttons. If you want to change it, you can click on whatever you want to change it. Uh, all right, so that's my move using this. As you can see, I have not used a controller. Uh, there's no real way for me to prove that to you because I'm just recording my screen, but just take my word for it. I am not using a controller. I am using my keys on my keyboard to do this. Uh, let's see, I can even jump into, let's say, Rocket League, uh, and move around like this. Oops. Oh, I'm out of gas. Uh, but yeah, I can press buttons and move around. Let's see. And uh, yeah, there's that. And then I can press the home button, which is mapped to the shift key. Um, so yeah, if this video helps you out, uh, be sure to like, uh, comment, and subscribe. Um, I will have a follow-up video to this uh, to show you how to use a, um, a, a third-party controller or, or even an Xbox controller or any kind of controller that you want uh, to, to play on your PC uh, just by mapping the controls on that to the uh, buttons on the keyboard. So uh, thanks for watching and have a great day.